Welcome everyone, my name is Stephen Brooks and I've created the Air Insulated Substation Design course. I've tried to write the course to make it accessible to everyone, including people without an electrical engineering background. In the third part of this course, I will be introducing some more topics related to the design and operation of Air Insulated Substations. I hope you enjoy the course. We use panels throughout the substation. And in the first module on this course, we will look in detail at these critical equipment and learn what equipment we normally find inside panels and see how the panels are constructed and operated. In the second module, we go into more detail on how these equipments are installed and see how we lay out a typical control room. Control cables are used throughout the substation to keep the substation operating safely and efficiently. In the first of four modules on this subject, look in detail at the types of control cables that you will find. We see how all of the control cables are installed and learn how cable tray systems are used in the basement to route the thousands of cables in a typical substation around the control building. We then discover how to successfully lay out a cable tray system in a typical substation building. We then look in detail how we install the control cables in the substation switchyard and how we use Martian kiosks and cable trenches to keep the cables safe and allow us to extend the substation in future. We then find out how we develop a typical cable schedule which is used to monitor and track all of the control cables inside the substation before looking how we choose the correct control cable for the correct application. DC systems are essential equipments in any transmission substation and make sure that the substation operates correctly when we have a full system shutdown. We look in detail at the architecture of the DC systems and learn how we size a typical substation battery. We then look in detail at how we detect a battery ground fault before looking at how we operate the DC system. In the last course, we introduce some basic interlocking principles. In this course, we use these principles on some more advanced substations and learn how the interlocking system can be used to keep all of the key equipment safe. Current transformers are a key piece of equipment inside the substation that we use to measure the current and protect the substation from faults. We go deep into the theory for these equipments and learn about all the key criteria we need to design them. We then look at the more practical aspects of these equipments and see how we can connect them together into a functional system. In the final module, we look at voltage transformers. These equipments are needed to monitor the power flows in the system and also to feed information to the protection systems. And we look at all of the theoretical and practical aspects of these critical equipments.